Today, uh, we are having the official launch of the Real Change Movement, and this Real Change Movement is a call to action for the business community, institutions, and the general public to join us in, the, uh, e in our efforts to reduce homelessness here in Pasadena. What's going to happen today uh, is that the uh, mayor will be unveiling the first uh, donation meter. Uh, so part of this campaign is to create ways for the general public to uh, also contribute financially uh, to the uh, effort to reduce homelessness here in Pasadena. And so we have received some uh, brand new state-of-the-art parking meters that have been repurposed, painted orange, and they will be public donation stations. They will be set up around uh, the whole city. We anticipate having about 12 by the time we're done, but today we're unveiling the very first one here at Fuller Seminary. Um, welcome, thank you for being here. Um, welcome to the official launch of the Real Change Movement. Uh, my name is Bill Wong. I'm the Director of Housing and Career Services for the City of Pasadena. And over the last three years, uh, while the homeless numbers in LA County have been going up, the numbers here in Pasadena have been reduced by 46%, from over 1,200 uh, persons to less than 700. Um, but we still have way too many of our neighbors who don't have homes. Uh, there's a lot of work to do, and resources are shrinking uh, dramatically. So at the core of this effort uh, of the Real Change Movement, there is a call to action. And this call to action is for the business community, for institutions, for individuals, and the general public to come and join the city, nonprofit uh, service providers, the Flint Ridge Center, and faith-based organizations to help to reduce the homeless numbers here in Pasadena. There are really three parts to this campaign. There's public education, there's the call to action, and there are the donation meters. Uh, with respect to public education, uh, we want to let the public know that it is not only more humane to provide housing for our neighbors who don't have housing, but it actually saves us all a tremendous amount of money. There is an economic reason for doing this because the chronic homeless tend to be very frequent users of very high cost systems, emergency rooms, uh, jails, courts, police and fire uh, services and paramedic services. So uh, as an example, we are working directly, we have been working directly with Huntington Hospital to house some of their chronically homeless patients uh, who, who frequent the hospital, cycle in and out of the hospital repeatedly. Um, we recently housed a, uh, a gentleman who was in the hospital for four months straight, including one month in a coma. So that one episode probably cost the hospital hundreds and hundreds of thousands, if not a million dollars. We want to educate the public to let everybody know that we can't arrest or enforce our way out of the homeless problem. It's not illegal uh, to be, it's not illegal to be uh, poor and to be uh, homeless, but we can end homelessness one person at a time by providing ha permanent housing with intense wraparound services. Uh, we also want to address this matter of uh, panhandling here in Pasadena. Uh, we'd like the public to know that not all the panhandlers in Pasadena are, are actually homeless, uh, and that all the basic services that a person would need are already available here in Pasadena. Uh, food, uh, clothing, showers, uh, services, uh, shelter during bad weather, they're all already available here in Pasadena. And, uh, and we know that some studies have shown uh, that some or all of the money that panhandlers get goes towards drugs, alcohol, and tobacco because those items are not available for free uh, here in the city. We also want to provide a means for everyone to help to join us in this effort to reduce homelessness. We want to let people know that there is a better way to affect real change, and that is by donating to our real change meters. And so we will unveil the real change meters uh, all the money, 100% of the money that gets donated into these meters will go towards homeless to services designed to prevent or end homelessness. And furthermore, thank you. <laughs> furthermore, one of our very key partners, the United Way of Greater Los Angeles, will use the donated money to leverage philanthropic dollars so that we can provide even more homes for the homeless. This campaign uh, will be robust and long-lasting. 
Uh, it will incorporate all kinds of uh, media, including print, cable TV, radio spots, bus shelter posters, websites, social media. Uh, people who've been getting their utility bills have been getting a little brochure about the campaign already with their utility bills. And there will be window decals for businesses who support the program. So this kind of effort, this kind of large, uh, 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 complex effort could not be realized without numerous uh, organizations and individuals coming forward to partner with us. Uh, in short, many of the organizations and individual, many organizations and individuals have already answered the call uh, to action. So you will hear from representatives from several of these partner agencies, but before I introduce the, the, the guest speakers, I'd like to mention a few who really have stepped up um, but do not have a uh, formal role. First and foremost, I'd like to uh, mention the Flint Ridge Center, in particular, Jaylene Mosley. Jaylene, where are you? <laughs> Jaylene, right here. Uh, Jaylene stepped up. Uh, she has been a co-creator of this uh, campaign, and uh, her organization, the Flint Ridge Center, will be the long-term partner who administers this program. All of the partnerships, sponsorships, uh, all the locations have come as a result of, uh, of uh, Jaylene's hard work and dedication. And the only frustrating thing about Jaylene is her uh, insistence on not getting a mention too much uh, for her leadership role, which I refuse to comply with. Um, the business community has really been involved. We started with the business community, the Chamber of Commerce. I don't know if Paul Little is here. Um, he's been involved with us from the beginning, uh, designing the program, working with Art Center. The Playhouse District bid and the Old Pasadena Management bid, these bids have not only supported the program, but they've also come forward with sponsorship. So we really uh, appreciate their uh, early commitment. And then IPS is the parking program who donated all the meters. These meters are not old uh, meters who got repurposed for, for this effort. These are brand new, state-of-the-art, solar-powered, credit card, wireless information transmitting meters. And when we talked to Lisa Barr at IPS about donating meters, she asked us how many. We gave her a number and she said, is that all? So they have really been key uh, as a partner. PCC has been a, uh, a critical partner for us. They uh, not only um, will have a meter on their campus, but they also provided dancers for a very compelling little uh, PSA video um, that has been produced. Um, we'd like to acknowledge uh, Robert Miller and Dr. Valerie uh, Wardlaw. And then finally, uh, I'd like to uh, recognize SASH. Uh, SASH is the uh, professional consulting and marketing firm who took this campaign from concept to implementation. Uh, this is Lawrence Kwan. This is uh, Juan uh, Villalpando. Juan, did I get that right? I think I did not bad on that. All right, thank you. Uh, and Wang Yi, who, who did a lot of the artwork. Um, so, so thank you very much for all of these partners who stepped up early and often with really critical uh, and played really critical uh, uh, roles in getting this campaign to where it is today. Um, so now I'd like to introduce the first speaker. Um, this is a man who needs no introduction. Uh, he is a man of integrity of courage and of compassion. He has been involved in uh, homeless issues for a number of years. Um, and he is, uh, for me, the best and most supportive boss uh, I could ever ask for. This is uh, Pasadena's Mayor Bill Bogart. Thank you, Bill, very much for that gracious, gracious uh, introduction. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, I say good morning to everyone uh, and welcome to what I consider to be um, a very important event in the life of this community. This program demonstrates the capacity and the commitment of the city of Pasadena to bring um, assistance to those who are less fortunate in our society, and it makes me tremendously proud. We are here to launch a new donation meter program the Real Change Movement, which will provide significant funding to address the needs of homeless persons and will raise the consciousness of the general public about the importance of supporting homeless service agencies uh, in lieu of making contributions to individuals who are panhandling on the streets. I welcome all of you and thank you for being here this morning. 
particularly the many sponsors and supporters of the effort who are participating in this morning's program. It's a truly uh, stellar uh, list of organizations and individuals. Of course, we find ourselves at Fuller Seminary, a setting that could not be more suitable for the launching of this program, based as it is on concern and compassion. Thank you, Mr. President, for allowing this first donation meter to be located on this campus. This program solicits contributions. Uh, press can't hear you. Okay. Uh, thank you, Bill. This program solicits contributions of pocket change and credit card donations to unique parking meters that will be located in strategic locations in Pasadena, like the donation meter that we will unveil in just a few moments. This approach to harness the power of the community is embodied by the tagline of this campaign, Homes for the Homeless, Powered by Change. 100% of the donations received through this meter program will be distributed to service providers who work with homeless community members. The funds raised will go further because United Way of, of Greater Los Angeles, through the Home for Good Funders uh, Collaborative, will leverage the meter contributions to maximize their impact. The funding raised through the Real Change Movement is important because we know that resources to address the needs of homeless are in short supply. But for me, the outstanding feature of this creative effort is the opportunity to raise awareness of the general public about how their concern and compassion for the homeless can best be pursued. As we go about our business at City Hall, all of us are attracted to make uh, uh, in the city, uh, our business in the city, all of us are attracted to make individual contributions to unfortunate persons on the street. But with reflection, we all recognize that the daily needs of unfortunate persons can best be met through responsive and effective homeless service providers. Individual contributions that typically go to support substance abuse practices of persons on the street are much better applied to support services provided by homeless agencies. It is important to note that this program is intended to be comprehensive and continuing. It is a communication program, a call to action, and a commitment to a sustainable program that will end homelessness. Once again, I want to thank all who were involved in this effort for your sponsorship and support and to join in the celebration of what I know to be uh, a prominent and powerful weapon to improve the lives of unfortunate persons on the street of Pasadena. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mayor. Um, you know, when we needed uh, when we needed somebody to really help to fund this vision, um, we turned to a real visionary, uh, somebody who has done a lot more for homelessness and mental health services than most people realize, and that's Los Angeles County Supervisor Mike Antonovich. Um, he's very uh, interested in these issues. He's been very involved. Uh, he's put his money where his mouth is. And he is very vested in uh, the well-being here in Pasadena as well as throughout his district and the entire county. Supervisor Antonovich uh, generously provided over $300,000 for this campaign. And representing Supervisor Antonovich today is his uh, field deputy, uh, Rita Hajimanukian. Thanks, Bill. Um, it is an absolute pleasure and honor to be here today on behalf of Supervisor Mike Antonovich. We are proud to be a supporter of the Real Change Movement. We invested in Pasadena because of their outstanding leadership skills in the fight against homelessness. We all look forward for the positive results of a real change and hope to see this innovative idea expand with great success. Thanks again for your partnership, and again, best wishes and best of luck. Thank you. Thank you, Rita. Um, 
The United Way of Greater Los Angeles has been a leading force in the fight against homelessness with their Homes for Good campaign and their Funders Collaborative. Uh, we are so pleased to have them as a partner. We'll stretch the meter donations by using them to leverage philanthropic dollars so that we can provide uh, even more homes for the homeless and provide more services. Uh, I'd like to uh, ask uh, Elise Buick to please come up and uh, give us a few words. She's the president of the United Way of Greater Los Angeles and a great partner here in Pasadena. Elise. Good morning, everyone. It's a great day in Pasadena, and I just wanted to take this moment to really applaud this city. I don't think that you realize that you are the shining star out of the 88 cities in the county, and I personally wanted to be here today to really salute Mayor Bogard and the one and only Bill Hung for their commitment to really partnering with the United Way to make this a reality. They have been a part of our Home for Good campaign since the beginning. They were the first city in who really said there is a different way to move forward. Not only is it more compassionate, as Bill said, to permanently get people into housing, but it's less expensive than having them cycle through our systems. What's exciting to me about today is that when we have a tough issue like homelessness, it really takes each and every one of us to do our part. And the city of Pasadena is really trailing, the blaze, blazing the trail again and involving residents, visitors, I think of all the people coming to your concerts, to the Rose Bowl, that will be able to contribute to really making sure that all Pasadena residents have access to housing. The sad reality is that the face of poverty and homelessness has changed. 40% of our homeless individuals are now women and children, and as a mother, that's really heartbreaking to me. But what is so encouraging, and I just want to echo, the progress that Pasadena has made is unparalleled, a 40%, 46% reduction in homelessness. So let's give another round of applause for that. None of these great ideas happen without funding and support. So I also want to congratulate all the partners here today, including Supervisor Antonovich, who's just been an amazing partner with the United Way, and also the one and only East West Bank. Uh, if you don't know, East West Bank has been involved with the United Way for almost two decades, helping us move people out of poverty. And I think it's that long-term commitment to the systemic changes that our communities need to see that do create real change. So we are just so thrilled to be here. Uh, this is an amazing campaign, and I don't know about you, but I can't wait to see the parking meter. So thank you so much for having us here today. Thank you very much, Elise. Um, well, uh, concepts are easy to come by. What's hard is raising the first dollars to get the concept off the ground. So the hardest money to raise is the first money in. Uh, the, depart the partner that came through for us with the very first money is East West Bank, uh, which is headquartered here in Pasadena. Uh, and they provided the seed money to begin the design process. Uh, without their support, without their initial uh, trust, uh, leap of faith with us, uh, we couldn't have gotten to this program. We couldn't have gotten the program even off the ground. So I'd uh, particularly like to thank uh, Emily Wang, who really championed it, uh, championed us, uh, th uh, this cause with the bank. And um, uh, it's taken a little while. Um, I believe after today I can get off of her watch list and move it into like the performing loan portfolio. Um, uh, so, uh, but I would like to uh, call up uh, Emily Gao, who is president of East West Bank. Uh, Julia, I'm sorry, Julia Gao. So, thank you. Thank you, Bill. This is such an exciting day. Uh, East West Bank has always been contributing to the sustainable prosperity of our community. We believed that sustainable prosperity means ensuring a meaningful future for each and every individual. That's why we support the Real Change Movement campaign. It's very important to create long-term solutions to end homelessness in Pasadena. We were very pleased to provide the initial funding for this campaign when Bill Huang called us about two years ago to introduce the concept. The collaborations involved the Art Center College of Design in Pasadena. The faculty and the students shared the passion and jointly developed the communication strategy for the campaign. Emily Wang, our marketing director, also joined the team with other community leaders.
We believe that this project serves as a great example of how we can come together and make our city a better place to live and do business. We are very pleased to be here for the official launching and will continue to support the campaign. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Julia. Um, when uh, East West Bank gave us the, the seed funding, um, we quickly turned uh, to the design process, and we know we needed to engage really the, just the best design partner to come up with a uh, successful campaign, and that partner was Art Center College of Design. Uh, specifically, their Design Matters group. Uh, they ran two interdisciplinary advanced design studios to design the campaign. Uh, a campaign that is very positive and very uplifting uh, and very engaging. And so uh, we really uh, are indebted to Art Center for, for their work, for really all the conceptual design work. And I'd like to bring up uh, George Filardo, uh, who is the Senior Vice President of Real Estate and Operations for Art Center College of Design. Thank you, George. Well, thank you. It, uh, it's certainly a pleasure to be here. I hope that some of the Art Center students that participated are here today. I know that we've got some representatives from, uh, from Design Matters, but you know, let me start by thanking Julia, my colleague. Uh, she and I have served on other committees here uh, supporting the city uh, on other projects and endeavors. But her generosity with the bank of giving us $25,000, a grant that funded the design studio for the Real Change Project as Art Center College of Design made all the difference, and I thank you for that, Julia, personally. We're grateful for your partnership and support for this valuable learning opportunity for our students. Uh, our role in this important campaign, and I want to, on behalf of Dr. Lauren Buckman, who couldn't be here today, I, wanna, I just want to tell you this is one of our most exciting projects is Design Matters. It's so important to our, our students, and we believe to society overall, the impact that our students have had on the world and some of the things that we do. Um, Art Center exemplifies our commitment to create change. Design Matters is where art, design education meets social change. Students design solutions for the real world's problems. They help families who live without running water in South America. They also help to raise support for homeboy industries. They design tools for teachers to help middle school students shift their thinking from using guns. Design Matters is about putting knowledge into action. And the Real Change Social Impact Campaign was created after many iterations in a 14-week studio led jointly by Design Matters and our graphic design department. The campaign showcases the innovative thinking that can result from partnerships like this between community leadership and the design education community. We are extremely proud of our team's creative contribution and our strong ties to Pasadena, this outstanding city. We continue and we're thrilled uh, to expanding our footprint. For some of you may know, uh, we've just acquired a building at the south end of the city, uh, 131,000 square foot building. We now have a 7.2 uh, acre footprint at the south campus. It'll be called the Mullen Building after a $15 million gift from Peter and Merle Mullen. And today, on behalf of Art Center and the president of Art Center, I commit to you, I'd like to install two meters, one at the South Campus and one at the North Campus. And at least I'll ask that you work with the planning department to make that happen. Thank you so much today for being here. Thank you very much, George. Thank you for that commitment. Um, we'll hold you to that. Um, uh, Finally, um, our last speaker, uh, you know, we're here at Fuller Seminary. They have graciously uh, hosted this event. But there was a point in time when Jaylene and I were looking around. We were meeting with property owners, asking who will take one of these meters. We forgot to, to talk to George. We should have hit up George <laughs> right away. Who will take one of these meters? And uh, we hit you know, some skepticism and some complications. Uh, some who said, okay, we'll take it, and then no, then they no, they decided no, they couldn't do it. Well, Fuller Seminary was the first one to come to us, first property owner to come to us to say, we want a meter. 
And so we are so uh, thankful for their um, desire to participate in this campaign. Um, uh, we really appreciate all, all that they have done hosting us here today, hosting our meter, uh, the very first meter. Um, so I'd like to bring up Dr. Mark Laberton, from Fuller, uh, president of Fuller Theological Seminary. Thank you. It really is a great joy to welcome you to this event, and we couldn't be happier that this is happening here at Fuller. It feels like a natural fit to us. It feels like it's a fit in our own sense of mission and our deep sense of connectedness to the community of Pasadena. We feel so grateful for Mayor Bogard's leadership and for Bill's leadership. We're grateful for the fact that long-term partnership among organizations and community partners within Pasadena and really even beyond are part of what makes this event and this uh, new effort so important and so significant. So we want to say special thanks as well uh, to Jaylene Mosley for her work and for the significant uh, contribution of what's going on through the Flint Ridge Center and their management of the resources that will be provided by this and our long-standing partnership with the Art Center. We're just so uh, delighted that all of this comes together with long-term partners in this community. This feels to us like it's a very significant part of a long-standing commitment that Fuller's had to be engaged in the community. In part, our own urban initiative effort in many ways expresses our long-term commitment to homeless issues in Pasadena and beyond. And we're very grateful for the chance to now share in this particular expression of it. I think what impresses me the most about this whole effort is that in the unveiling of a meter, we're really trying to unveil a new season in Pasadena's life in response to homelessness. Many, many good things have been occurring, and many good things will uh, be looked back on as examples of things that have helped set up this day. But hopefully through this unveiling, it's like the launching of a new season, an unveiling of a new way of thinking about, seeing, and engaging in the significant challenges and complexities, really, of homelessness, but to do so in a very positive, proactive, concrete way that anyone and everyone can contribute to in whatever way they're particularly able to do so. It feels like it's an effort at hope of expressing and, and embodying tangible hope both for the community of Pasadena and for the individuals whose lives will be affected by this. It's an embodiment of heart because this isn't just a mechanical effort, but really an expression of human compassion and concern for people whose circumstances have found them in, in contexts that often are far beyond their own creation and for which there are often such uh, inadequate resources. And then it's also a response that's a response of health, to try to say, again, as a community, we're committed to healthy lives, we're committed to healthy relationships as a community, and we're committed to a way of health that encourages long-term sustainable life and health for people that are part of Pasadena. So for all of these reasons, this uh, joyful day, this day of, of new beginning, this day of unveiling, feels to us like it's a day that's natural to us. It's partly a natural expression of our own Christian faith, and it's a natural thing for us to want to be in partnership with neighbors uh, and friends and partners in this community that want to make a, a difference as well. So thank you for the joy and privilege we feel in having the first one of these meters here. We couldn't be more delighted that it's here and look forward to a long-term effort together in helping respond to the significant challenges and issues of homelessness. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And uh, before we uh, unveil the meter, uh, I would li just like to point out that we do have a website, uh, a new website. It's here on the, the, the screen. Uh, it's uh, realchangemovement.org. Uh, you can scroll down. It has resources. It, it, it'll show you what kind of resources are available for the homeless here, how you can help, how you can be involved. Um, it has a bunch of video uh, vignettes um, talking about the campaign. Uh, it has... Um, uh, a map that shows uh, where meters are, and that's important, especially important because we have lots of meters in the works right now. Um, this particular map shows there we are. Uh, and then as you scroll down, there are our uh, partners are acknowledged, and the business sponsor, the meter sponsors uh, are acknowledged. So we encourage you to, uh, to take a look at the, at the website. Uh, and so with that, I would uh, ask that uh, we walk down the steps. Uh, the orange meter is there on the left. Um, uh, the mayor, uh, Bogart, and Jaylene Mosley will do the unveiling. And I also ask that all the speakers after the unveiling um, stick around. The press uh, and the media have, has, have requested that we stay around um, uh, for potential interviews. OK? So there we go. Mayor, look.
look over here. Look over here while you're feeding it. We're engaged in the community of Pasadena in all kinds of ways. So when we heard that this meter program was developing, we were just eager to jump in. And when we heard that they were open and receiving requests for any organization or business or institution that might be interested in sponsoring a meter, we stepped forward. And we were delighted and somewhat surprised, perhaps, that we were actually the first ones to do so. But it just seemed like a very natural thing. It's an expression of our Christian faith. It's an expression of our commitment to Pasadena. These two things just merged in a, in a wonderful way. This has been done in other communities. And what we like to do in Pasadena is we like to look at best practices. Then we like to bring them to pa those best practices to Pasadena and adapt them to our own unique community. And that's what we've done here. This program, the Real Change Movement, is an opportunity for Pasadena First to increase funding available for homeless services. Um, and we know that the responsible and effective agencies in Pasadena who address the needs of homeless are able to make a difference in those lives. Number two, it will uh, provide an opportunity for educating the public about the needs of homeless and about the most effective way for each individual to contribute to the solution. Pasadenans are known as compassionate and caring. And what we want is a vehicle where any contributions made are used most effectively. And we know from research that the contributions that are made to individuals on the streets of the city, uh, those who are panhandling, are not uh, normally used for therapeutic and effective purposes, but are used to acquire uh, drugs and alcohol and tobacco, which are not otherwise available to persons who are homeless. Uh, we also know that many of the panhandlers are not necessarily homeless, uh, but are simply uh, using the best way from their point of view of, uh, of funding their, their daily lives. So I'm anxious to increase public awareness about how most effectively to contribute to the solution of, of, uh, of uh, homelessness on the streets of Pasadena.